so this morning I woke up and I had a thought for a magic formula or I was just thinking about magic formulas and t-shirts and I call things magic formulas if they're something that you can use to put together a, a repeatable pattern, a repeatable product. And t-shirts are an amazing, amazing thing for magic formulas because there's just so many t-shirts you can make for different niches. And the magic formula that I woke up thinking about this morning was uh, comparisons. And I wrote a long list, like actually what I did this morning, I woke up and I grabbed my laptop and I wrote a long list of comparisons that I thought would be super useful to use in t-shirts. And I'm gonna show you, I think I can screen share. So let's see if, um, there are a lot of different ways of doing comparisons. And I think this shirt that I saw on Cole's website just cracked me up this morning. Um, and this is a boys t-shirt uh, for sort of eight, 10 year old boys. And it has my skills, your skills. And I'm sure Bea, I could totally see your son wearing this because I know he is a big gamer and a YouTubing gamer at that. So um, this shirt just cracked me up so much. It's got like the emoji, the cool emoji going, yeah, I can play the game. And then the poop emoji, not being able to play the game. And comparisons are a huge thing in t-shirts because one of the reasons people wear t-shirts is to express their individuality. They want to express how they feel that they are different from everybody else or just from the other side. And of course, I mean, like we have so much tribalism that we have to identify with one side or another side, like my country versus your country, my team versus your team, my political party versus your political party. Like people get very, very emotional um, about how they feel they are different from either one group of other people or everybody else and so of course you see a lot of these shirts that say me versus everybody else or everybody versus me um, like people really like to set up these comparisons and one of the ways that people do a lot of comparisons is kind of to get braggy like I'm better than you for all of these reasons um, <laughs> so like the girlfriend this is your girlfriend she's just kind of a boring person and this is my girlfriend and she's a hot chick. So some people do this for really braggy reasons. Um, there's a certain kind of people that love wearing those shirts. There's also people um, who want to get kind of self-deprecating with their shirts, sort of like, uh, I don't know, you could, you could do sort of you being out and partying and me sort of sitting home and reading a book which again is kind of, that's kind of a humble brag sometimes. Um, but I love this one. I love the your dog versus my dog. So your dog's asleep snoring and my dog is basically in a conga line. Um, and then there's sort of ways of doing comparisons in a kind of surreal sort of way. Like, um, <laughs> I thought this was funny. You've got like the sort of get real and be rational. You've got like pi and I don't know, the square. You see, I'm not mathematical enough to even get the joke properly, but I think it's like imaginary numbers versus irrational numbers. So you can really kind of have fun with this idea of comparisons. You can also make kind of bizarre comparisons, like my dog versus a political candidate. Like that's kind of when you take it out into La La Land. Um, and of course you also see people doing like your baby and they have like a real baby or a picture of a baby versus my baby. And my baby could be anything. It could be a dog, it could be a chinchilla, it could be a gun, it could be like whatever you can, or it could be your car or your motorbike or your jet ski or whatever you consider to be like your baby. So once you figure out a comparison shirt and you have like a picture, you have um, an icon to represent something, you have a cute slogan, then you can repeat that formula over and over and over again with different niches. So if I did my baby, your baby, and I came up with the template, or actually it'd be your baby, my baby, I can make a template that just literally has an icon of a baby and then I can make 10 t-shirts that have the other icon be a car, a jet ski, a gun, like whatever it is, a dog, a cat, um, a monkey, I don't know, whatever your baby is. So you can repeat these into formulas, which is really, really cool. 
Um, also, and it's funny because this can be done in sort of kind of a competitive way, like the real sort of braggy thing. But again, it can also be, um, you, can, you can kind of twist this around, like the trend counter trend. Um, you can also be like, everyone else is having a great time while maybe I'm doing something different or I'm kind of weird or like I don't quite fit in. Um, you can kind of express that. Like I know there's a lot of shirts about sort of like, okay, I'm awkward, just letting you know. Um, it's kind of a way of sort of saying how you were different from everyone else. And I thought these two at the bottom were kind of a neat twist on comparisons. Um, like there's only two types of people in the world. Those who understand, well, there are only 10 types of people in the world. Those who understand binary and those who don't, because the joke is that 10 in binary, I guess, is like two. Um, again, not good at maths. I will have to get Isaac to explain it to me about binary. Um, and also it's you versus you. So I thought that was kind of a neat comparison where you kind of almost screw with the comparison concept. And instead of saying it's, it's me versus you or me against the world or my team against your team, um, it's like it's a motivational thing of like you are your own enemy. Um, so these are the ones I had to share. And what's cool is there are actually a lot of ways of generating a shirt, especially sort of these kind of shirts, very, very easily. Um, because there are a lot of icon sites. And I'm gonna give you a quick list um, of icon sites that you can use. Um, it's up to you to check the licensing on them. Um, especially for merch, some of these need attribution and you can't really do attribution on merch. Um, but a lot of these do have either very cheap or reasonable icons or even free icons. Um, so the ones I like, um, let, me let me just get my list. Uh, I'm gonna stop my share actually so I can talk to you. Um, okay, so there's flat icon is one. Uh, there's icon finder. There's noun project, which I'll show you in a moment. There's flat icon. There's emoji one and there's icons eight. And I'll post these in the comments in a moment. But those are places you can go to to actually find really simple illustrations that you can put on your t-shirts. Uh, especially sort of these kind are, are, are very, very easy to find royalty-free icons that you can use on your shirts. Uh, cool, okay, so actually I will show you Noun Project right now because I do have it up on my screen. So let me uh, screen share to Noun Project so you can see what I mean. Now, the licensing with Noun Project, uh, as I understand it, you have to pay $1.99 for each uh, icon that you intend to use for a product for resale. So you can sign up for the annual subscription to Noun Project or a monthly subscription to Noun Project, which gives you unlimited downloads. But I just did a little bit of, of poking into this and it looks like to use these on t-shirts, you need to actually still pay the $1.99. Um, so the unlimited downloads doesn't cover you if you're using these for t-shirts because they're considered uh, items for resale. But this is still a bargain because you can grab an icon for $1.99 and you can use it on a bunch of different shirts and um, it's pretty awesome. So if you were doing a comparison shirt, for example, um, I looked up couple and like seriously, Noun Project has millions. It literally has millions of icons. Like you can do unicorn um, and hopefully, if my computer wakes up, Okay, there we go. Um, so you can see all the different unicorns that are popping up here. And there's all kinds of different styles, all kinds of different unicorns. So you can grab one, pay the $1.99 and use that on your shirt. So if I was doing like a comparison shirt, um, I could totally do, uh, I love this couple in bed, couple in love. Um, you could do couple and you could do like your marriage or your relationship. And then if you were selling t-shirts like ballroom dancers, you could do like, this is my marriage or my relationship. Or you could do, I don't know, <laughs> wow, that's a, a sort of glamorous one. You can be like you and your man, me and my man, and you look like Taylor Swift in like a beautiful dress. Um, I've seen some kind of raunchy shirts as well, uh, like your girlfriend, my girlfriend, and there's not a lot left to the imagination. 
don't do it on merch, but it could work on other sides. Um, so, I mean, just an idea. I mean, you could totally just grab shirt, the, uh, the design of a couple looking boring, looking normal, and then do some kind of sort of wild couple thing with it as well. So a really easy way to generate some quick shirts. A um, few other things I was going to say about comparisons. Um, I think comparisons work because they have such an emotional impact. Like when you see commercials on TV or on Facebook, they like doing a before and after. Like this is what I looked like when I was big and fat and I ate a lot of donuts. This is what I look like now I've stopped eating donuts and now I'm more like um, and really they just airbrush them and kind of <laughs> like give them some photoshopping. Um, but before and afters are a cool thing that you can do. And of course you can do before and after uh, on your t-shirts. You can also do, and think about all the different sort of um, comparisons you can do. So you can do old versus new. You can do like, this is the old way of doing things. This is the new way of doing things. So it could be like, this is how I, um, I, I don't know, you could do, this is how I used to uh, write to my mom. And you could have someone sort of writing with um, a pen and paper. And then like, this is the new way I write to my mom. And maybe like it's FaceTime or something. Um, you can also, of course, think trend, counter trend, wherever there's one way of doing things, you can always do the opposite. So you could always do things about how the old way was better. Like kids today listen to music. Um, I don't know how kids, how, how do kids today listen to music on SoundCloud or something? Whereas like in my day, we all had like Walkmans and had to wind up the tapes and things like that. So you can do um, the old way versus the new way. Um, the like. You, you can do comparisons with so many things. Um, like you can do men versus women. Like that's what all comedians do. They always start off. When people start off as stand-ups, they go with like men versus women. Let me tell you something about women. Let me tell you something about men. Um, they do dogs versus cats. Like why do dogs always do this? And why do cats always do this? It's like a typical easy comparison. But you can find like, the, the great thing with this is you can get creative. Like if you wanna do like chinchillas versus armadillos, if you wanna do like zombies against Cthulhu, you can totally do that. And probably the weirder you get, the more creative you get, the more unique you get, people are probably gonna buy that shirt. Um, you can also use comparisons as a way to kind of bond with the people around you. So for example, I was thinking about like, if I wanted to sell a t-shirt to a cruise line, if I had an idea for a shirt and I wanted to go to Carnival and say, hey, I think you should sell my t-shirt in your gift shop, um, I would think about doing something like this cruise versus other cruises or my cruise versus their cruises. And like on my cruise, I'll be like partying and having a great time and other cruises, it'll be like a really boring ship full of old people. And you can do the same thing with like my party versus your party, my vacation versus your vacation. Like, I don't know, what's your vacation is maybe someone sitting in a sad room looking at the clock. And meanwhile, you're like lying on a deck. Um, it's kind of douchey. It's kind of obnoxious. But people love those kind of shirts. Um, and again, if you feel uncomfortable with it, if you like, oh, I don't want to make those kind of shirts, turn it around. Find a way um, to do comparisons um, that don't feel like awful to you or don't feel obnoxious. You can also use comparisons um, for interests. So like, for example, if you are big on natural health, you could do um, your medicine and have someone with like a jar of pills and you could do my medicine and it'll be like an avocado. So like, that's another way you can, do, um, you, you, can, you can do a comparison. You can totally do it about something you believe in. Um, you could do, uh, you, you can also um, do things about sort of beliefs, um, politics. And it's kind of interesting because I, I started really thinking about this and I was doing like my city versus your city, my state versus your state. Um, and it gets kind of weird because when you start thinking about sort of like my country versus your country, it gets into like sort of political, which is controversial, can get scary, but at the same time, very emotional. And I think by looking at these comparisons, you actually find these emotions and this sense of sort of um, being very attached to a, either a belief or a place or a thing or something about yourself. 
you can have this attachment and it, it kind of reveals that emotional attachment. And I think that's why people tend to buy t-shirts because they feel this sort of emotional attachment to them. Um, but you can do all kinds of other sort of this versus that. And they don't have to be controversial. I mean, you can do sort of like, if you're a cyclist, you can be like, what, what differentiates cycling from driving? And I don't know, maybe it could be like, you're just, you, you do a picture of like my transport versus your transport. And you're sort of sailing down the hill on a bike while someone else is in a car with like um, all the exhaust fumes around them. Or you can turn it around. If you don't like cyclists and they annoy you, um, you could do you in the car sitting, sipping your Starbucks and sort of waving um, to a cyclist who's going uphill. So there are all these different ways of sort of representing things to get the emotional impact and the sense of attachment that you really sort of want to put across on your shirt. You can also compare just different states. So you can do, um, and I don't mean like, um, states of the US. I mean like states of being. So you can do things like um, natural versus cosmetic or fake and real. Uh, you could do something like by day and by night. Me when I'm awake, me when I'm asleep. Like how you act in different situations. Or you could do like um, this is me when people are watching and you're like sitting and typing and doing your work. Or like when the boss is watching, you're sitting and typing and you can be like when I'm alone or when the boss is gone. And I don't know, you're like partying on your desk and hanging out the window. Like you can totally do that kind of comparison. You can also do the day versus night. And I think day versus night, like you can just take that comparison and generate infinite, like literally infinite t-shirts from that. Because what you do and... In the T-shirt revolutionaries course, we've been talking about snow clones and snow clones are really just a cliche where you substitute in keywords or niches uh, that are fun for you. So instead of having say like live long and prosper, uh, that's like a well-known cliche. You can do live long and drink coffee, eat chocolate, uh, eat cupcakes, ride unicorns. Like you can literally generate a million shirts from like live long and um, I know it might be copyright, it might be trademark, um, but just sort of bear with me on the concept. Um, but if you did like day and night, you could do by day I am a, and then whatever your occupation is, by night I'm a, and you can, so like I, what I would do if I was going to come up with a bunch of t-shirts based off that, I would do, I would come up with something cool that you can be by night. So I'd be like, I don't know, maybe goddess or rock star or um, I don't know, superhero, super heroine. So you can do like by day I'm, um, I don't know, chartered surveyor. By day I'm a chartered surveyor. By night I am a goddess. And then the great thing with that is you can just substitute in any occupation you want. And if you have tangent, tangent actually has like a long list of occupations. Um, it has family roles. So you can do like, by day, I'm a grandma, or you could do, I don't know, maybe you could do sort of like, my patients think I'm a, a nurse, but my kids know that I'm, I don't know, a grandma, or that doesn't even make sense, but you, you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Um, but the thing is, you come up with one idea for a shirt like that, you can recreate it for all kinds of different occupations, um, for different uh, roles in the family, like all kinds of different things you can do with that. Um, so let me uh, just look at Facebook because I'm not even looking at the chat. <laughs> and I just, oh my gosh, I lost my screen now. Hold on. Oh, where am I? Um, let me find my screen. Oh, there we go. Whoops. Oh, I'm going to like cause um, a rupture in the fabric of space time because. <laughs> I'm like totally moving um, around different screens and watching myself. Um, oh, I like Jennifer's suggestion. She said you can do before coffee, after coffee. Charlotte has earbuds versus boom. Like that is amazing. Uh, you know, like the difference when someone's listening on earbuds and when they're just blasting it to everyone. Um, Bia said uh, focus on people's passions, their hobbies, relationships, professions. Absolutely. So that whole sort of my girlfriend, your girlfriend, my mom, your, your mom, um, 
like you can totally fit that into any kind of hobby like you can do sort of like my dad um and and like or, or no you'd start with your dad so you do your dad and it's like boring sort of dad with a beard um smoking a pipe and then you can do like my dad and like this is great if like your dad's in the military or if he's like or if he does something cool like he's like a disco dancer or and the the, the crazy thing with this is that you can make anything seem cool. And that's what will make people buy your shirt. If you can make programmers feel like computer programmers or coders or I don't know, security guys or whatever. Isaac's laughing because I'm picking on him. Um, but if you can make programmers and developers look cool, um, then they might buy your shirt because usually they feel like, oh, I'm like the nerd and everyone picks on me. So make them feel cool. Give them a shirt that makes them feel cool. Um, let me scroll, scroll down a bit. I'm just reading through all the chat because I wasn't looking. Um, beer says vegans versus non-vegans. Absolutely. Um, kale emojis. Do kale emojis exist? Um, I don't know. You know, I bet if we go to Noun Project, I bet if we go to Noun Project and um, we look up kale, I bet you, I bet you someone's got an icon of kale. <laughs> In fact, I can see there already. There's kale leaf. Um, let's check it out. I've never tried this before. Let's, oh my gosh, look how many kale emojis there are. So you can, you can be like your dinner and it's like, you can be like, oh, you donut girl. See, Isaac always calls me cookie girl because he thinks I eat cookies all the time. Um, so I always laugh at him because he eats lots of like lettuce and stuff. Um, and mung beans. And Isaac, do you eat mung beans? He, he denies eating mung beans. Um, but absolutely, you can do that kind of comparison. Um, so you can do sort of donuts versus kale. Or again, you can turn it the other way around and be like, oh, you, you, you eat kale while I'm enjoying my donut. So it's, it's kind of a way of giving people um, a way to feel proud of whatever they are, whoever they are, whatever they like. Um, it's, it's, it, I, and I think that's why people buy t-shirts. They buy t-shirts because they feel cool in their t-shirts. They feel that the t-shirt is really like an expression of who they are. And I think that's why people do a lot of sort of like my dog versus your dog, my baby versus your baby, because people see their babies and their dogs kind of as an extension of their own personality. Um, yeah, so uh, let me take a look at, uh, oh, Beer also suggested free pick um, as an icon site as well. <laughs> so I'm just uh, looking through, make sure I didn't miss any uh, chat. Um, Jennifer says she thought of Creed on the office with the mung bean comment. Um, Kale, yeah. Cool. So, okay, I hope um, that made sense. What we're talking about was comparisons. Um, if you're in T-shirt revolutionaries, I uploaded a big long list of comparisons you can do. And it's everything from sort of my hair versus your hair uh, to um, people who sing versus people who don't sing. And I think this is kind of a nice one for hobbies as well. Um, so for example, if you have a hobby and you love singing um, and you sing all the time, you can be like, people who sing are happy and you can paint people who sing in rainbow colors. And then you can be like, oh, and all the people who don't sing and maybe they're all just like black and white drones, like oh, all, in, all in gray. And the great thing is you do that, you can repeat that again for people who skate, people who act, people who twirl batons um, versus people who don't do those things. So you're just really all we're doing here. And it, I know it sounds very sort of confrontational and tribal to be doing this sort of this versus that thing. Um, but really what you're doing is finding the things that people identify with and what they feel makes them different and what makes them special. And I think people buy shirts that make them feel special. So they are making those comparisons. So hopefully that is helpful. Um, I did want to give a shout out to uh, our new course. We just um, did the last live class yesterday on marketing. So we have, two, we have one course uh, at the moment called T-Shirt Revolutionaries. Um, and I will show you, actually I can go to shirtrev.catherine.com. Uh, um, and we have a, a course all about creating t-shirts and this actually ended up being a much, much bigger course than we expected. Um, our plan was to do three classes 
and we've ended up adding just a ton of video and Isaac has basically made um, a complete Photoshop course. Uh, I think it's about four hours of instruction on Photoshop starting with the very, very basics. So if you've never touched it before, you've never used it before, you have no graphics experience, you can watch his basic class and get a grasp on how to use Photoshop. Um, and it goes right through to all the advanced techniques like um, sort of masking out images, cut out images, curving text, distressed um, effects, like all the cool things that you want on t-shirts. He teaches you how to do that. Now, if you have no intention of using Photoshop, um, kind of like me, um, I teach how to use Canva and how to use other tools like Sketchio and uh, a few other tools to make awesome t-shirts where you can repeat the designs and make them up very quickly. And so it's pretty cool because it gives you this choice. Do you want to make shirts that are very simple, easy, straightforward, or do you want to make beautiful, very professional looking shirts? Um, you can do a mixture of both. Uh, I kind of like using Canva also to prototype shirt ideas. So I can create a shirt idea in Canva and it's kind of like, um, doing a retail product, like testing a retail product. And then if it works, you can jump to a wholesale product. I kind of see the same thing with t-shirts, like you can test ideas out with Canva. And if they're working, you can get them redesigned or reimagined either yourself using Photoshop or you can send your design to a designer and get them to do a better version of it. So you have a lot of different options with this. Um, we're putting more stuff into the course as well. We're next week, um, this week we talked about marketing. Next week I'm gonna do a video on uh, making a web store for your, for your t-shirts. And we're gonna talk about things like how you can set up affiliate links um, from Amazon so you can actually do make a little bit more income with your t-shirts, but also that you can sell them on your own site which is really, really exciting because you can do a lot of cool things once you have your own site, especially um, when it comes to marketing. So we're going to be doing that next week. We're also going to be talking about using public domain images with your t-shirts. So there's a lot more to actually come in the course. Um, but if you look at it now, it's kind of crazy. We've, I think we're at 11 hours of content already in the course plus the um, marketing class I did yesterday, and then plus those other videos which are coming next week. So this course has basically become way more huge than I expected it to, but that's actually a really, really good thing because we talk about everything. We talk about how to come up with um, ideas like this one, um, the, the idea of comparisons. This is something new that I've just kind of started doing today for the course. Um, but in the first class of the course, we talked about all kinds of different magic formulas for making your t-shirts. So you really learn how to write jokes, how to write sort of um, good wording, how to write funny things, interesting things. Um, so we've got a lot of sort of, our, our whole course is basically about creativity. So if you wanna go and buy um, designs, that's totally cool. A lot of people like buying designs, buying random designs. Our focus is on creating your own shirts and getting them to sell. And so that's what our whole course is about. So if you're feeling like you want um, a creative outlet for Christmas, for Halloween, um, and I've been making quite a lot of Halloween shirts. Um, if you want a creative outlet for Q4 um, and a break from packing boxes, then maybe this is a fun direction to go in. Um, we primarily look at merch by Amazon. But you know, there are so many other places to sell your t-shirts. Like it's not just merch. You can put them on Redbubble, on Zazzle, on a whole bunch of print on demand places. The other great thing is that if you make designs and you start creating cool designs, um, you can do what a lot of people have been doing and putting them on um, books, like on notebooks, journals. And for Q4 for Christmas, you find things like calendars will sell really well. Um, I don't know, all kinds of different products, mugs, hats, like you can put your designs on anything. Um, like when I started making t-shirt designs, a lot of the time I was putting them on notebooks, on composition books and selling those on CreateSpace too. So you can kind of double dip with your designs and with your ideas. So this is a really, really cool thing to do. Um, I do have a promo code for you guys. 
uh, and the promo code is, it, is it webinar star, Isaac? I think our, our promo code, okay, let me post that in, oh, whoops, I gotta stop. Okay, um, we have a promo code, which is webinar star, and that will give you $20 off if you are signing up for T-shirt revolutionaries. So I do recommend it. The other really awesome thing about T-shirt revolutionaries is um, that, that you get a month free of Tangent, and Tangent is just epic. Um, we've actually uh, been talking to a lot of people about Tangent lately, um, <laughs> and the first thing everyone has been saying to us is, yeah, it's too cheap. When are you putting your prices up? So that's something we're kind of thinking about, but the people who have got in on it now um, are, are doing great with it. But yeah, we, we, we're kind of looking at Tangent because it's getting a lot of interest. Um, whoops, I clicked sign up. I didn't mean to click sign up. I wanted to sign in. Oh, I am signed in, great. Um, so this is Tangent, which is our product development uh, software. And it's awesome because it just literally will help you brainstorm anything. So for example, I was talking about um, occupations and finding occupations that you can put on t-shirts. Tangent makes it super easy for you because you can go people, demographics, philosophy and politics. Right there we have occupations. We also have family members, military ranks, all these things. Here's occupations and it has uh, an approximate search volume uh, for how many times these people get searched for a month on Google. So it has the approximate monthly search, uh, search volume. Um, and you can go through this and use this to make a bunch of t-shirts just for those people, like brick masons, um, marines, mathematicians, coaches, um, flight attendants. Like there's a whole bunch of niches there. So you can be like what everyone else does, what I do, and then you can put your picture of you being an awesome flight attendant, um, and people will love that shirt who are flight attendants, but they get a lot of searches each month, so it's a big demand. So Tangent really, really helps you with this, and what's particularly cool is if you find something you like, like, I don't know, astronomers, we can actually click on astronomers, and it will do things, the, the Tangent Explorer will take you to all kinds of places. Um, you can look up trademarks, you can do a trademark lookup, you can do um, a lookup for puns and jokes uh, about Google attendance, you can look up uh, artworks, so you can go public domain, what are we looking at? Astronomers. Um, so you can go to, I don't know, maybe Pixabay has uh, some public domain pictures of astronomers that we can use in our t-shirts. Um, I haven't tried this before, but oh yeah, it's got some, wow, I love that picture. That's a beautiful picture. So you can use Tangent to really go and explore any particular niche that you're interested in. Um, you can find the art, you can find jokes about it. This does so many other things. Like I could go through Tangent all day, um, but it has so many other things that you can do with it. Um, you can actually put uh, images into sky palette. So let me do that with a, a picture actually. We can use um, this picture that I had. Whoops, give me a second guys. Um, if I pull this picture that I used in the, um, whoops, there we go, it's loading. Um, so this is the picture I actually used in the Facebook thread to advertise this, just because I thought it was a cool picture. I just happened to be browsing pictures and saw it and I thought, oh, that will get people's attention. Um, it does really great things. Like first of all, it gives you the colors from the image. Um, so you can actually generate a t-shirt with matching colors. If you love the colors in this, pa in this particular picture, you can use these colors um, in Canva, for example, or in Photoshop to create your own t-shirt in those colors. Um, what it also does, which is just amazing, is that it gives you, it does image recognition and gives you keywords based on this. So it's picked up Resort, Oceanside Harbor, Oceanside Pier. And I have to tell you guys, this works better than me because, well, which isn't difficult to be fair. Um, but I posted this picture not realizing it's Oceanside Pier. And I've been to Oceanside Pier. Whereas like I've literally sat in rubies and eaten fries. Um, but this, and I didn't recognize it, 
However, Tangent went, oh, that's Oceanside Pier, Oceanside Harbour, San Diego, Oceanside Beach, um, and it's by the San Diego Freeway, and it gives me a whole bunch of other words like beach, holiday, romantic, scenery, beauty, destination, like absolutely mind-blowing. Um, and also, it gives you image matches. So it goes and trawls the internet and finds where else this picture has been used. So I've seen people have been using this in t-shirt revolutionaries to find if people are copycatting their, uh, their images. They're also using them to check up on designers and make sure they're not using images that, that they've stolen from somewhere. And just finding a whole bunch of other ways to use this. Um, so it's a really like super powerful tool. Um, we have so much else in here. I mean, we have tangent words, which will generate keywords for you for pretty much anything that you're thinking of looking up. Um, so I, I don't know if we were doing sort of skate, uh, we can do skating. And if we want to find out what kind of products people are buying about skating, um, we can let this load the keyword suggestions. I don't think anyone searched for skating before, so it's taking... Um, a moment to load those up. In the meantime, I'm gonna actually just look at chat uh, and just see if you guys are asking any questions. Oh, Rosa says, this is the best course around. It's like going to the store to buy a quart of milk and they give you organic milk and cookies for a year. Wow, this is great. And then they throw in some cows so you never run out of milk. That's it. You know, that's exactly what we wanna do. We don't just wanna give you milk. We wanna give you cows. We wanna give you a field. Um, I, yeah, it's, it's, it was a good analogy. You did better with it than I did, Rosa. <laughs> um, Adele says, how much is it? Are we talking about the course or about Tangent? Um, T-shirt revolutionaries is $167. If you want to buy the, uh, but, but if you use the webinar star promo code, you get $20 off. So I think that's $147 for t-shirt revolutionaries. Um, Tangent is, so Tangent has a few different uh, uh, tiers. Um, oh, there we go. We're going, let's go back to Tangent words. Um, we were looking at that. There we go. Okay, so it's loaded up these words for skating. So you can see what it does. It gives you a bunch of keyword suggestions. And what Tangent words is doing is it is looking all over the internet at different search engines, different uh, web stores, like big web stores, like eBay, um, Amazon, so on. Uh, and it's looking at how popular different searches are on those sites. And it color codes them, so you can see what are the most searched for things. Um, so this is really cool for just anything, from retail arbitrage to um, coming up with keywords, to thinking of private label products, to thinking of things to put on t-shirts. And of course you can look up shirt, like you can just type in shirt here and see what are the most commonly searched shirts. So you can see this has generated a ton of keywords. It's also doing things, um, it does, uh, it gives you rhymes, it gives you synonyms, it, like, it, it comes up with all kinds of things. Um, and there's so much more in Tangent. I mean, we have a magic formula generator, we have uh, more in the niche machine, like a character generator, um, we have inspire tools, like there is lots in this. And we keep adding to it as well. Um, the niche machine has 18,000 niches, and they are all curated by Isaac and me. So there's 18,000 categorized niches in there. So this is like a huge, huge, huge project for us. Um, and we're really looking at growing it as well. We're, we're really excited about Tangent just because um, I feel like there aren't that many sort of creativity tools out there. And we just really want everyone to create and make new things and be really proud of everything that they're doing. Uh, wow, Amanda says, I remember when you first launched your Amazon bundle course, you have both grown so much and that's just in a couple of years. Um, yeah, I, I'm, sometimes I'm like, what happened? What, uh, like, I, I, I feel kind of mind blown in myself. Um, just because, I don't know, it's, it's been a very wild ride um, from Isaac leaving his job and joining me and sort of like us building this together. But it's, it's been really fun and, and I'm really excited about where it's going. Like I'm really excited about the, um, how, how much I'm seeing people create. And I think that's what's been really, really important to us all the ways um, that, that people are really discovering 
just how creative they are and coming up with all these great things, whether it's been bundles or white label or t-shirts or books, whatever it is, I think at the heart of it, it's all about creativity and creativity in marketing as well. And that was what we talked about yesterday was all the different ways you can market your t-shirts. Like there are so many places you can go, so many online platforms, so many places that other people just um, aren't taking any notice of where you can get people wearing your shirts, talking about your shirts, um, it, like being proud of your shirts and spreading the word. And that's what you really want to do is just get your shirts out there, get people enjoying them. Cool. Okay. Well, oh, you asked about tangent um, and pricing. Let me just uh, go back to the uh, screen. Whoop, where are we? Um, let me just share my screen so you can see that. Um, so the sign up for tangent, if you, if you want to join t-shirt revolutionaries, you get a month free of tangent. If you're in the course, um, we haven't given it an end date yet. So I think you guys are getting a bit of bonus time who are still in the course. Um, but yeah, if, if you sign up for T-shirt revolutionaries, you get a month free of Tangent. If you don't want to join T-shirt revolutionaries, if T-shirts aren't your thing, but you want Tangent otherwise, because it's awesome, it will help you with your books, it will help you with um, your private label. It will help you with any project you are working on. Um, I, it's also, it's even great for people who are artists, writers, just anyone who needs to brainstorm or come up with ideas. Um, so it's, a, it's really, really awesome. Uh, you can sign up for Tangent um, either monthly, it's $24.99 per month, or you can sign up for a year. And this is really the best deal. And I will tell you why. If you really, really want um, to check out Tangent, jump in on the annual offer because we are giving away our Magic Formulas class free with that. And I think Magic Formulas was like $297. Like I think, I can't remember off the top of my head how much Magic Formulas was, but I think it was one of our more expensive classes. And Magic Formulas is a really cool class. It's kind of hard to describe. Um, but it's really about generating ideas that you can turn into brands and that you can sell and, and build something very big, like bigger than just selling widgets, bigger than selling t-shirts. It's about building a complete brand. And that's what Magic Formulas is about. And we are giving that away to everyone who signs up for Tangent um, for a year. Because, and, and the reason we're doing that is really the Tangent kind of came out of Magic Formulas. Like all, all the extra work we were doing with Magic Formulas sort of turned Skytools into Tangent, which has been just an amazing piece of software that Isaac and I, use, like we use it ourselves all the time. Um, and the other thing that's really cool with Tangent is that you get a Chrome extension with it as well. Um, and the Chrome extension's right here, uh, if I click it. And it's really cool because you can type in anything like coffee and then you have access to all these things that are, are lookups in, from Tangent. So you can go and find artwork with it. You can just go and browse um, products. So if you want to see what coffee t-shirts there are um, from merch, you can just go and browse um, right away with Tangent. Sorry, my computer's running a bit slow because I'm screen sharing everything. But boom, there's all the uh, coffee merch shirts. Um, you can also, uh, if we open it up again, it's cause I've got zoom running. Everything's running a little bit slow. Um, you can also go and check out sort of like anything about coffee on Zazzle, uh, on eBay. You can look up like all the Amazon shirts, not just merch shirts. You can check out what Walmart is selling. Like you can really just go and browse anything using, uh, the tangent Explorer. So lots and lots of options there. Um, let me just check the uh, chat. Cool, Lisa says the course is fabulous and the Facebook group is so very, very helpful for questions and sharing. Yeah, the T-shirt revolutionaries course has like, um, the, the group is blowing my mind. Like people are really just so generous with their ideas, with their thoughts, with their um, sort of very gentle, supportive critiques of each other's shirts. Like it is really, really a cool, cool um, group. Lots of marketing tips going on in there. Lots of promotion tips. Like it's pretty awesome. So guys, that's uh, T-shirt revolutionaries. 
tangent. I would love it if you join us. If you don't, that's cool too. I am always happy to answer your questions about shirts, about creativity, about books, about whatever you want to talk about, Amazon. Um, just feel free to ask in treasure hunting or just ask your questions and I'm sure someone will help you out. Probably me. I try, I try and answer questions. Um, if you've sent me messages in the last couple of days and I haven't got back to you, please poke me. Um, I, I am somewhat sleep deprived. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's cool. So thank you very much for joining me. I had a lot of fun doing this Facebook Live. I will probably post it on YouTube. Uh, I know a lot of you asked for a replay, so we will probably stick this on YouTube too. But have a great weekend, guys. It's really nice to talk to you. I must do more Facebook Lives. All right, have a good one, guys. Bye.